Uh, okay, George, you got third place here. First time in league final for you. How do you feel about it? Yeah, honestly, um, just stoked to be here, uh, first of all. I've been at the last two in Zurich, watching Oli mostly. And um, I mean, that was a sweet experience both times. Love being there and thought the atmosphere was good. And um, just being able to be healthy and fit in the middle of September is, is um, that's a win in itself. <coughs> um, but I felt like without overcoming Gurma, like I felt like I, I had a real shot to win. Um, it was hard out there. I mean, yeah, I, I would have loved to be in it a bit, a bit more towards the end. Um, I felt like I could have run on a good day. I felt like I should have been able to run like 8.08 if that was what it was going to take to win and kind of somewhere just under 18 and um, I couldn't make that happen. But it yeah. was fun. Yeah. yeah, I mean, to be this close to your PR in the middle of September, yeah. a long season for you, you got to be pretty, like, steeple, what, number nine you said for you? <laughs> yeah. you got to be pretty happy with that. Yeah, ninth one of the year. Um, I, felt like, I felt like in Budapest, that first round especially, um, I, c I could have broken 18, just the way I was feeling. But it's also the, that was like the only steeple I've run since Monaco that was not, you know, 85 degrees <laughs> and hot as hell. Yeah. So I think that's a big part of the reason I felt so good in that prelim. Yeah. It was right after that big rainstorm had been delayed and it was like barely 70 degrees and I just feel so much better running when it's like that. Yeah. So it was freaking hot in there. Yeah. Um, the other thing for you, I mean, to be able to race that much and still be healthy and performing well, like what's been the difference? I know that's been a problem for you in the past. Yeah, honestly, I can't believe how well my body's come off each steeple. Like I, I get on the table, table with that guy, Jason, and he, he's like, just doesn't know where like the load goes from the landing. Like I just have nothing in my lower legs or anything, which um, I don't know. I don't know what that's suggesting. Like I'm just, like the load is going up the chain just so well that I can recover surprisingly well. Um, I don't know what it is, but uh, yeah, very fortunate to come off it. Especially the last few, the first couple felt kind of rough, but it's probably because I was pretty bad at it. Um, whereas the last half of the season, each each team I've been coming off pretty well and body feels pretty good right now. Yeah. So what do you give yourself as a grade for 2023? <laughs> um, woo! Maybe an maybe an eight five. <laughs> <laughs> some, some reasonably good. Yeah. yeah. Um, would have liked to to win a steeple or two at some point um, towards the end of the season, but yeah, I, I mean, I felt like that was possible today. Been feeling pretty good and um, showed I, I still had some speed last week in New York, um, but is what it is. And what do you see as room for improvement for you in this event, like you know, next year? I mean, I think ninety five percent of it is just going to be running um it's just another year of, of training and and trying to run you know even as much as the rest of the guys on the team would be a good start um yeah just another good fall another good indoor season and then yeah i mean hopefully i just continue to adapt to the to the hurdling mode like if i can just be like slightly fresher towards the end of a race like each time if i'm if i've been hurdling for another another season um then I'm, I'm sure there's a second or two there, but I think most of it's just running. Great. Well, uh, great rookie season in the steeplechase. Thanks for the time. <laughs> Enjoy the offseason.